visit our website for more home construction tips for amateurs and pros. What does an anchor bolt do? An anchor bolt is embedded into the concrete foundation. So they're installed either while you're pouring the concrete or before you pour the concrete. And they usually are shaped like an L. They have an L shape. They used to have a J shape, but that obviously is a thing of the past. The L shape is sufficient. So if it's shaped like this, the, um, the nut and the thread is up here and the foundation um, plate, the framing plate, is attached to that. If the foundation plate was to pull up, this, the L shape is going to resist because it's going to be poured in the, in the concrete footings. So they come in different lengths and different sizes. Um, most, the most common anchor bolt today is a 5 eighths, 5 eighths of an inch thick um, anchor bolt that's 12 inches long. Now, if you're building a house, make sure that you check some architects, I mean some engineers, are requesting a minimum embedment um, size. So if you have a 7 inch minimum embedment and you have an inch and a half framing plate, you could probably use a 10 inch anchor bolt. Now with that said, if you use 10 inch anchor bolts, and you have a problem while, the, while you're pouring the foundation and one of these anchor bolts gets raised maybe an inch or two, you're not at that seven inch minimum embedment anymore. It's not a bad idea to always go with a little longer anchor bolt than you need just to make sure something like this doesn't happen to you. Um, now with that said, the different sizes and the different um, lengths of the anchor bolts. Um, and then you've got the spacing. A lot of the times it's 12 inches from the corner maximum. It cannot be more than 12 inches from any corner of the building. And that's the break of the building where the wood ends, your framing plate. And then usually they're six foot on center from there. If you run into a structural shear wall, um, each one of these shear walls is going to require its own anchor bolt spacing. So be aware of this. Um, your anchor bolt spacing might be 10 inches, 12 inches, and make sure that it doesn't affect your stud layout your, when you frame your shear walls. So I don't know how many times I run into the situation where I need a 3x4 or a 4x4 at a shear panel break because the nailing is two or three inches on center on this three by four and there's an anchor bolt right in the way. It creates a problem for the structural shear wall and for the framing carpenter. So make sure you double check your anchor bolt layout before you pour the concrete slab. Make sure that the, you have the um, your minimum embedment is going to work. If your anchor bolts 10 inches is close, go to 12 inches. Um, it's going to be worth it if you ever have any problems. You know, I mean, the cost savings you're going to have with just one or two anchor bolts that would need to be changed if the building inspector really got picky or critical, or even the homeowner, the person that, that you're building the house for. Um, that cost right there could provide you to buy 14 inch. That cost difference could provide you with enough money savings to where you could have bought 14 inch anchor bolts. So be careful, be advised. Anchor bolts are used to hold the framing plates down to the foundation, to the house foundation. I'd also like to point out one more thing. Um, be aware of nowadays they're using three by framing plates, bottom framing plates. This will also affect the length of your anchor bolt if they're requiring a minimum embedment of the anchor bolt into the concrete. Feel free to visit some of our other websites for more helpful tips on home construction and remodeling.